I do think for the industry, we do have to be very focused on um, a decline in young people watching live sports. I, I think it's, it's, it's not, and it's not only important that they watch live sports, but that they become fans of teams. You know, and, and I know, for example, uh, you know, Don Sperling is here from the Giants. That's something they talk a lot about. It's, it's, you know, how do you connect with fans at a young age and build that lifetime uh, tradition of, of going to games and following your family and parents watching it with their kids. I mean, that's something we talk a lot about, and it's, um, and it's, it, 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 to us, we don't want all consuming to be done sort of in the in the bite-sized social media way. I think it's we want our fans to feel connected to our teams. Now, what's interesting is that we used to think of ourselves as limited by the geographical boundaries. You know, I, I'd say so if you're, like, I, I was just thinking this. I said this the other day when I was in Cleveland this year, and one of the, one of the real fun parts of my job is I get to give out rings to the championship team. And that you, you look back at all the speeches that begin over the years, and the commissioner traditionally, traditionally says, and to the fans of, you know, Cleveland or of Northeast Ohio, and you start thinking, wow, that's, I'll say that. And of course, we're very reliant on those fans filling the building. But boy, that's a tiny fraction of the fans who are following, you know, the Cleveland Cavaliers of LeBron James. I mean, there's, there's a billion people around the world following him. So how do we embrace the new world of all those people? So, you know, I, so on one hand, you know, maybe, yeah, fewer young people watching traditional television, but now a whole global market of young people to talk to. But I think it, look, I, I think that's one of the challenges for the industry. I think and part of it is that, and we're, I know all the leagues are looking at format, you know, whether that means commercial format, you know, uh, start times, you know, we can't take them for granted. And we got to make our games, we got to continue to make them entertaining, adding other production, production elements. I mean, you know, I know, TNT a few years ago experimented with sort of the, the kids broadcast. I mean, as, you know, you can have more audio channels. You can have announcers who are talking specifically to kids. You can have camera angles to, for kids. You can have, you know, there, there can be explanations of rules that maybe the adult, more traditional viewer doesn't want to hear. So, but, but we have to be very focused on that.